Hi, it's Tracy with Vibrant Health and Wellness. Today I'm going to be talking about pH, the role of acids and alkaline bases in the body, and how to use foods to alkalize and heal the body. If you've ever taken care of an aquarium or a swimming pool, you will understand how important it is to keep the pH balance of the water within a healthy range. If the pH goes too high or too low in an aquarium, for example, then the fish living in that aquarium may die. In a pool, we may see algae grow when the pool's chemistry is not well maintained. The human body is similar in the way that it is always attempting to maintain its pH balance. The blood in the human body must maintain its pH of about 7.36 at all times. If a person's blood pH drops below 7.0 for more than a few minutes, then that person will die. If you look at a pH chart, you will find that 7.0 is neutral. That's the pH of pure water. Fruits and vegetables are slightly alkaline or basic. These alkaline foods can help the body to repair and rebuild cells, tissues, organs, and glands that have experienced acid damage. Foods such as sodas have pHs of about 3.0, which is about 10,000 times more acidic than pure water. Chemotherapy has a pH of about 2.0, which is approximately 100,000 times more acidic than pure water. These acidic pHs must be neutralized in the body's lymph nodes for the person's body to function efficiently. If you look at the chart, you will see that burns can occur on either side of the pH spectrum. So eating the foods closest to the neutral range is the best way to maintain good health. So how does the body maintain this pH balance, otherwise known as homeostasis? There are three main ways. When the body is inflamed from a diet of too many acidic foods and or lifestyle choices, it will actually steal calcium from its structure, such as the bones, teeth, and connective tissue to maintain its pH balance. This can manifest itself in many physical ways. If the person's parathyroid gland is weak, then they may experience more of these symptoms since the parathyroid gland controls how calcium is utilized in the body. When the person is chronically inflamed, they may experience problems such as osteoporosis, bone spurs, scoliosis, teeth shifting, hemorrhoids, flat feet, varicose and or facial veins, prolapsed organs, sagging, and wrinkling. Another way that the body deals with a high acid load is by producing additional cholesterol as a buffer to protect the cells from these acids. Cholesterol is often vilified these days, but it is actually not the bad guy. We need cholesterol for the body to manufacture our sex hormones. While a statin drug will lower the amount of cholesterol produced, it does nothing to address the reason why the body is producing excessive amounts of it. A person who is chronically inflamed may experience issues such as high cholesterol levels, plaquing, glaucoma, and cataracts. And the third way that the body balances excessive intake of acids is with water. The body will actually hold water if a person becomes too acidic. These people may experience swelling throughout their bodies, otherwise known as edema. If you are a female, you may experience bloating leading up to your menstrual cycle as the body attempts to hold water to balance the acidic estrogen load that is highest right before the menstrual cycle begins. So if we look at the characteristics of acids versus the characteristics of bases, we will see that acids are inflammatory and corrosive, whereas bases are anti-inflammatory and healing. Dr. Morse says, if acids win, you lose. 
looking at acidifying foods versus basic alkalizing foods, you will see that the foods that promote inflammation, also known as acidosis, include meat, dairy, grains, soda, alcohol, coffee, white sugar, cooked foods, and processed foods. Alkalizing foods include almost all fruits and vegetables, herbs, and herbal teas. Connecting the dots leads us to understand that there are not thousands of diseases. There really is only one true underlying cause of ill health, and that cause is inflammation. We must understand that any health condition that ends in itis, such as colitis, tonsillitis, bronchitis, or an appendicitis, is simply inflammation or acidosis. If you can understand this, then you can see that if you want to reverse these conditions, you must alkalize the body with raw, ripe, organic, hydrating, living fruits and vegetables. Once you make this connection and start understanding the rules of cause and effect, you should experience reduction of your symptoms. To learn more about detoxification and the lymphatic system, please visit my website at www.vibrantwellnesscoaching.com.